Or will the AI bubble be bigger than the dot-com bubble? No, but I think it will be bigger than a crypto bubble. And I think the bust in AI will be bigger than a crypto bubble as well. So how will a bust in AI happen? Because AI is not something that's going away. It's, it's here, and it's only going to get bigger. Mm -hmm. It's going to be implemented in more and more parts of life. So when you say a bubble, what does that even mean? Like, as far as the companies, AI companies? Yeah, co AI companies. Like, the, the AI itself is going to exist, but they're only going to be maybe three or four major players. And then also, Google have not put in their efforts yet. Mm -hmm. I really believe Meta's going to make a strong effort to be <coughs> big in a chip in AI space. I think it'll come down to four or five players. Like, same with the dot-com bo dot com bomb. You had a bunch of companies that failed, but the internet overall. But but if but I think the difference between the AI, if it's a bubble and dot com and crypto is that there's not a lot of AI. So it's like there was a, there, there was a lot of dot com companies, mm -hmm. pet dot com, water dot com, anything. There was a mm -hmm. lot of dot com companies, right? The same thing with crypto. There was first there was Bitcoin and Ethereum. Then there's a million different meme mm -hmm. coins and all of these other you know different coins. I mean, if you really look at it, there aren't a lot of like artificial intelligence companies. The companies that's the transform and being funded now are the bigger companies, though. So we're yeah. talking about Nvidia, we're talking about Apple, we're talking about Tesla, we're talking about all of these. These are already established tech companies. Mm -hmm. It's not like just a bunch of random startup companies. That's and, and uh, no, every day I'm probably getting ten or fifteen different companies. Like I get Munch, Video AI. Like if we go to Nikki's page, we can see three new AI companies that she's talking about every day. But I mean, that's not they're not publicly traded though. No, they're they're not. But but also because of inflation and then yeah, I feel I see what you're saying. Yeah, venture capitals are like currently yeah. like those dot coms. A lot of those dot coms was on the stock market. Yeah, and the VCs got them there, and that because the crypto thing blew up, they're going to take all that NFT and crypto money and fund AI. And as soon as we get out of this little recession and funding starts flows, they're going to create the next wave of the boom. Like, eventually, we, no one wants to have a conversation, and I get why. We have to, at some point, have the conversation around venture capital creating all of these busts and having no downside risk in them. Yeah, I think uh, uh, another perspective is to think at what stage are we in the bubble? Yeah. Well, we're right. early, super early. Right. So if we think about early AI and generative AI, when we're talking about ChatGPT, we're talking about we're in the infancy stages of it. Yeah. And so there's still time to create those companies. And so when you were like publicly traded, I'm like, I don't remember five years ago hearing about uh, AI, like C3 AI, yeah. Inc. Like they're publicly traded. Yeah. And it was like, oh, well, this they adjusted. Right. And it was, yeah. you didn't, I didn't hear about them. Yeah. And then it was like, oh, wait, there's a company that specifically is tailored to reap the benefits of artificial intelligence. Yeah. I think that we'll see more of that. Yeah. Right? Like we'll the, see more. We, because it's so early, like if we use AOL, like this is 92, and AOL is yeah. right before it's like 93, 94. When yeah, AOL, it's, it's, we're early in it. And then the dot-com comes, and it's like, wait, Excite.com? Yeah. Like where, what is all this? Yeah, I think we're a few years out from it, for sure. It's not a bunch, but there's a bunch that are currently getting funded. Like there's even, you know, if you go on Medium, there's some companies that have got to fund it $50, $70 million. They didn't even have like a complete working prototype yet. What but is that? I also think that this is going to... So tech obviously went on a rampage the last 15 <clears throat> years. Then it, 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 Started, yeah. then it fell. And then I think this is going to drive tech. Bigger. QQQ. And all of the tech indexes, I feel like every tech company is going to benefit from artificial intelligence. I agree. And that's going to be the next propeller of technology moving forward. I agree. This is the catalyst. Two tech, two index, no stressors. I keep telling you guys, you don't have to adjust anything. Also, too, listening and executing is key. So going back to all information is not created equal. Once you have something that works, you don't need more information. Yeah. Yeah, you don't yeah. need more information. Yeah. Like, once you have something that's solid, a system that works, there's no need to deviate from it. Yeah, it's, it, you got to apply it. Yep. Yeah, we, I mean... That happens a lot. So uh, just imagine how many texts you got over the past two weeks. Like, hey, man, I'm glad we heard that information. Yep. But how many people are not texting you because they didn't? A few. Right? Like, they watch Market Mondays every week. We talk about these companies every week. Something like the NVIDIA earnings call happens, and you're like, oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah. I didn't execute. Like, yeah, that happens. But we're trained to shop and spend more of our money than we are, too. Invest long term. Even with the whole 
situation. I find it funny how much money gets poured into these teardown campaigns and how much traction those get on social media because negativity produces a higher viral clip rate than something positive. There's monetization even on our neg- negativity, and I never see it in any other community. I never do. Especially, like, once again, and once we're getting into the market in 2020, I feel like there's a concerted effort for anybody that's good in the space to get torn down. Like, I always cute in the beginning, like, okay, you guys want to be involved, and now it's like, okay, now it's getting traction. Let's knock this down. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy. Yeah. You're talking about media, but I'm even thinking about the market itself. Like, we watched the pandemic happen. We watched 2021. The market was up, and yep. then it, 2022 was like, oh, Pff, this is the real test for people yeah. who would just get into it. How would they fear? Yeah. How would they fear? Yeah, just, uh, you either die a hair or, long li- or long, live long enough to be a villain. And that's, that's like, a great you know, lesson, it's yeah. like, you know, rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle, rest in peace to Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, but these is martyrs. These are people that died. Early, yeah. Right? So it's like the people that lived are never celebrated the same way. That's true. They never celebrate the same way. That's true. And then you start to, you know, pick apart somebody's character and do this and do that and different things of that nature. So it's like we're never going to have the same reverence for somebody that has lived forever as opposed to somebody that died when they was young. That's deep. That's poetic. That's a dark night. Yeah. That's Jay. That's Jay. So, you know, it's one of these things, ladies and gentlemen. Be careful what you wish for. You want to be successful. You want to be famous. It's a lot that comes with it. It's a lot that comes with it. It's a lot that comes with it. More money, more problems. That's what Big said. I'll tell you what else they said. What did they say? you never be able to say that these guys lied to you, Jack. Mm. Big ain't lie. My graduates from my school being Forbes. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> a mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop. Backdrop.